What's going on out there folks? Ray with Clean Home Power watching here. Hope y'all are doing well. In this video, we're gonna be doing some oxidation removal for a customer of ours using a product called Cleansol BC. So check it out. So we just pulled up on the job. We got Big John over there taking care of the driveway and the sidewalks and everything. Now, the customer called us up and wanted to get a exterior house wash. They wanted the driveway cleaned up and I upsold them on the oxidation removal. He already knew what it was. He had had another guy come out and the guy told him there was nothing that they could do about it because a lot of people are in intimidated by oxidation removal because it, you, can, you can really stripe things up and cause a lot of problems. And uh, another problem that comes up with a lot of people is you got to brush it. So we're using a product called Cleansol BC. It is advertised as the no brush zone where you can apply this. And we've had success with it or we didn't have to brush, but we're not really 100% on this case because you can see here the oxidation, uh, this is just me barely barely wiping it, but it's, it's pretty bad. It's heavily oxidized on the siding here on all four sides. So we went ahead and upsold them on the oxidation removal. And as soon as we get done, we're gonna do a house wash, get rid of the algae. There's some algae on a couple of the other sides, that north facing side. But as soon as we get done with the house wash in the driveway, then we're gonna mix up the ratio of Clinsol BC and we're gonna be applying that via downstream. So here's a look at the other side of the house. This is the algae I was talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of this soft wash on the house, get it looking good, get all that organic stuff removed. And then we'll mix up our chemicals for the oxidation removal. Quick tip for when you're washing a house that has oxidized siding, if you're using the 12 volt application for soft washing, you really don't have to worry about it. But if you're downstreaming and you have the capability to use a strong jet force on this siding, you wanna make sure you're stepping very far back and using a fan tip if possible to apply your soap and rinse. Otherwise, you can pencil up the siding pretty bad and it's gonna be hard to blend that in. Now that we've got the house wash taken care of, we've killed all the organic growth. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix up our Cleansol BC and get this solution ready. Now we're gonna be using the downstreamer to apply this, but first we're gonna go over some PPE related things. First thing we're gonna do is take a look at the label that's on the product, which is a good practice to do with everything you're using, especially new chemicals that you don't know about. So it says on here, um, you know, in case of skin contact, you want to wear rubber gloves, you want to put your safety glasses on, protect your skin. Uh, it also says that it could be uh, fatal and cause lung problems if it's inhaled. So you want to make sure that you've got a good respirator that has the uh, uh, chemical vapor protected uh, filters on there. So you're not going to be breathing in any of that harmful stuff. So. Um, from what I've gathered from reading this, rubber gloves, safety glasses, and respirator is the PPE that you need in order to protect yourself. We're gonna go ahead and mix this stuff up. I'm gonna put my respirator on, then we're gonna put one gallon of Cleansol BC to three gallons of water. It's gonna be a one to four ratio, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's take our mix that we've just made up, put it over here by the down streamer, and we're gonna drop our tube down in there. Got our solution made up over there. John's got the down streamer and the soap turned on, and we're gonna be following the recommendation of the product's uh, instructions, which means we've pre-wet this siding, and we're gonna be applying a one to four ratio onto the siding letting that dwell but not dry then we're going to come back and apply another application 
onto the siding, let that dwell. And then after that dwell time, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a rinse on the siding and hopefully all of the oxidation will just rinse right off of there without having to do any brushing. it's time for the second application I just wanted to show you guys real quick now you can see all that kind of like pinkish film that's the oxidation that's kind of melting off of it so I could definitely see why they recommend doing two applications I think when we put the second application hopefully all that oxidation will fall off with the rinse but we're gonna go ahead and apply our second application Again, we still got that little pink residue, that oxidation that's just kind of melted off there. And it's just falling off pretty easy. So we've let this dwell for about five minutes. This is our second application. We're gonna go ahead and rinse this and see what we can come up with. There's a couple spots where this happened on both sides that we've done so far where all of the oxidation came off without any brushing but for some reason down on this bottom section about two feet up there's a few spots where the oxidation is having to be brushed so uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that or what why that's happening but for some reason on both sides that we've done so far there has to have we've had to brush a little bit in a couple spots on the uh, bottom two to three feet so but other than that all that oxidation just melted right off after that second application all right so we've wrapped everything up Got all the, thing, all the hoses put away and already talked to the customer, showed him the results. He was very happy and we got paid. So we're gonna take one last little look over at this uh, siding here. A good thing to do is just get you a little rag and check in the little nooks and crannies and crevices around meter cans and different types of fittings and just check things out and see if there's anything you can wipe down because like I was telling you, there will be some little spots where you'll see some of the oxidation left. But one good thing about that Clinsol BC and applying it with that downstream injector is it, it does a good job of getting into all those areas. When you're using a brush, sometimes it's hard to really like, you know, apply that solution in there. But 
Anyhow, yeah, we're uh, very happy with these results. The Clean Saw BC is a two thumbs up product and we're gonna head on to the next one. All right, so we just pulled up on our second job of the day and what we've got here is an exterior house wash. We're gonna be soft washing this. When we get these one stories, what I'll do is I'll fire up the booster pump, get the soft wash hose out and I'll apply and John will come behind me and rinse um, with the eight gallon a minute. Things go a lot faster that way. Now, we've also got the deck that we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna show you guys this deck real quick, man. It's in pretty rough shape. It's got a lot of algae and stuff on there. It's pretty dirty. So it's gonna make a really nice before and after picture. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how we wash houses. <laughs> 